Dave, you know, I think I finally found my dream home. And just to give you guys a bit of a reference, I'm about six to myself, and we are stepping into one of those homes right now. This is about 160 square feet. It has its kitchen, it has its very own bathroom, and it has a pretty good amount of space. And we also spoke to some members of the Tiny House Association, and they say this may be the solution to our affordable housing crisis. Your entire home can now be packed up, shipped, and placed wherever you like. Alternative living spaces in Las Vegas helps people become homeowners for about a third of the price of a traditional home. You can still have that same quality of life, just live in a smaller space and have less expenses. All the amenities without all the costs. Starts off right around $50,000. This is our 20 foot model. We also do a 30 foot and a 40 foot model. Um, and so price ranges on those are about 50 to $100,000. Founder and CEO Tony Lopez says he and his team have built more than 100 homes out of shipping containers and other materials here in Southern Nevada. Lopez says these homes can be a sustainable solution to the inventory crisis. Best of all, he says 30 to 40 homes can be built in about three months. You can import units, either, you know, do units that are built locally or from, you know, other states and, and almost overnight be able to increase your housing population significantly. Today, the Tiny Homes Association reviewed plans to bring more tiny home communities to the valley. Noah Herrera with the association says Senate Bill 150 requires members of the counties and cities in Nevada to designate at least one zoning district where a tiny house community may be built. Our average medium sales price in Las Vegas right now is 475000 And when you can bring this type of product line at a 60% off basis of that, it brings affordability back. Lopez says the bill also helps property owners to place these homes in their backyards. You know, in-laws, grandparents, maybe your kids that just graduated from college uh, or high school and they want to, you know, place to crash, uh, even maybe Airbnb in your backyard. Now, Lopez also tells us by using materials just like this storage container right here behind them and turning them into homes just like this, not only is it making homes more affordable, but also more eco-friendly. Now, we also talked to more members of that tiny home association, and they said they've actually requested $10 million from the state to be able to create 40 homes every nine months just like this one here right behind me. So Dave, I think we're gonna have to invest in some homes ourselves and have a nice little community where we can be neighbors hopefully here pretty soon, but we'll see what happens down the road. For now, I'm Abel Garcia reporting from South Las Vegas.